This is Nate playing the piano. You can hear the music coming from the piano even though you are not standing next to it. And you can hear my voice even though you cannot see me. But have you ever wondered what sound is? We can hear the sound, but is there a way of looking at it? Even though you can't see sound in real life, sound is produced by air particles moving back and forth. Here in this cartoon, each circle represents an air particle. As the particles move back and forth, the particles form dense regions where a lot of air particles are close together. The motion of these particles causes the dense regions to move in the direction that the sound is moving. In this case, the sound is moving to the right. The frequency of a sound describes how many dense regions reach our ear during a given time, usually a second. The closer the dense regions are to each other, the higher the frequency of the sound and we hear it as a higher pitched sound. For low pitched sounds, the dense regions are farther apart. In fact, we can show how frequency changes over time in a picture. In this picture, the high frequencies are on the top and the low frequencies are on the bottom. We can also use this to track how the frequencies change. This picture is called a spectrogram. We can use spectrograms to look at frequencies in different kinds of sounds, like the sounds in my speech. Now, I'm going to record Nate saying something. Let's take a look at the spectrogram when Nate says E. E. These horizontal lines are the frequencies in the vowel Nate made. Those frequencies are called the formants of a vowel. These formants are in different positions on the spectrogram for different vowels. Now, let's see what happens when Nate says something different, like ah. Uh... When Nate said ah, the two lowest formants were closer together. When Nate said e, the two lowest formants were farther apart. That's how you can tell the difference between vowels. Now, Sonam is going to say the same vowels. E... Ah... Look at where the formants are now. The formants are in a different place because Sonam's voice is different from Nate's. However, you can still tell that Sonam was saying E here because the formants are far apart, and here Sonam was saying Ah because the formants are close together. Now, let's see what happens if we have a chipmunk saying the same things. Hey Nate, come here and use your talents to sound like a chipmunk. <clears throat> You can see how it follows the same pattern. The formants in E are far apart, and the formants in A ah are close together. These spectrograms are cool. Hey, why do I still sound like a chipmunk? While Nate is figuring that out, let's review the words we've learned. They have really helped us understand what sound is all about. Frequency describes how low or high the sound is which depends on the spacing of the dense air regions in the sound wave. Spectrogram, a tool that lets you look at the frequencies that make up a sound. It also lets you see how the frequencies change as the sound changes. Formant, the formants of a vowel are the frequencies that make up the vowel. Although the formants are positioned differently in the spectrogram for different voices, the pattern of the formant is generally unique to each vowel. So now I can use a spectrogram to see all the frequencies in my voice. I'm going to do that right now. I do 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 ba cha do do ba cha do ba cha ba do ba cha cha ba do ba cha ba do ba cha cha do ba cha ba do ba cha cha. We go we go and then the bass drop. Wow 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 wow. We go we go.